Columbine High School was built in 1973 on a dirt road off a larger dirt road way out in horse country. It was named after the flower that blanketed sections of the Rockies. Hardly anybody lived there, but Jefferson County was bracing for an influx. Court-ordered busing had spurred an avalanche of white flight out of Denver, and subdivisions were popping up all along the foothills. By April 1999, the plain was nearly filled. The fiercely independent residents refused to incorporate. New town would only impose new rules and new taxes. 10,000 new arrivals filled one continuous suburb with no town center, no main street, no town hall, town library, or town name. No one was sure what to call it. Littleton is a quiet suburb south of Denver where the massacre did not actually occur. Although the name would grow synonymous with the tragedy, Columbine lies several miles west, across the South Plate River, in a different county with separate schools and law enforcement. The postal system slapped Littleton onto a vast tract of 700 square miles, stretching way up into the foothills. The people on the plain gravitated toward the name the nearest high school, the hub of suburban social life. For 30,000 people clustered around the new high school, Columbine became the name of their home. On the morning of April 20th, 1999, the U.S. dropped the most number of bombs on a single day during the Kosovo War. One hour later, Dylan Klebold and Eric Harris killed 13 people, 12 students and one teacher at Columbine High School. Dylan and Eric were not bullied. They were not part of the trench coat mafia. The trench coat mafia did not exist. In fact, they had a number of friends. They were pretty well liked, especially Eric. Eric was considered to be better looking, which drew more girls towards him. And overall, easier to approach. Dylan was more of an introvert who struggled to be liked. In fact, love was the most common word in Dylan's journal. Eric was filling his website with hate. Christian band Five Iron Frenzy wrote the song New Hope. They were a band from Denver, Colorado. One of the band members' sister was trapped in the choir room at Columbine High School during the massacre. The shooting inspired Finnish symphonic metal group Nightwish to write The Kinslayer, which quotes phrases that occurred between the killers and the victims. In 2010, Dave Cullen, a journalist, published Columbine. Stephen King published Rage and later referred to Carrie as a female version of Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. After eight and a half years, the Columbine Memorial opened at Clement Park in Littleton, Colorado, on September 21st, 
The interior of the memorial is an oval stone outer wall, the wall of healing, which is softened by a grove of trees in the center and low native plantings around the edges. Steep landforms of the existing hills gently fold back from the top of the outer retaining wall. These hills surround a majority of the memorial, embracing, comforting, protecting the visitor and the community. Look right through me. As the memorial elements are revealed, the visitor notices the inner ring of remembrance and the outer wall of healing. At the core of the memorial, an intimate grove of trees grows out of the oval, intricate landscape and stone paving. The leaves soften the light surrounding the ring of remembrance. This slow, elegant wall of stone invites you into a circle of stories. The stone is etched with words that are individual narrative remembrances of the deceived victims, remembrances by the victims' families. While reading the remembrances, the visitor may be comforted by the sound of water coming from the nearby fountain. An intricate ribbon design fills the center space and hugs the ring of remembrance. The tails of the ribbon, inscribed with the phrase, never forgotten, frame a connection to the outer wall of healing becoming a symbolic link between the community and the deceased. The world breaks everyone, and afterward many are strong at the broken places. Ernest Hemingway, A Farewell to Arms Miss God, I miss God.